Arctic Oval Castle Dome Building. It's a secret building in, in the Antarctic. It's around 300 feet across, some sort of, uh, it's supposed to be similar to some other sort of arrangement, like a big pile of, of, uh, of rocks and dirt to be a tower of sorts, and then a, a courtyard out front. And this is the image that some of you didn't see. This is from 2006, uh, February 22nd. And this is the Antarctic uh, picture of it. The one you might have seen on some of the other videos looks very distinctly like this. As you can see, the brown patch right here, I'm going to call it the dog patch, gets covered with ice, um, you know, six years earlier. Here's this patch here, pretty much consistent. Okay, what are these? Okay, these are stone ridges sticking up out of the snow and ice. When it was done, when it looked like this, because it doesn't show you the detail, this one does, where you can actually see that it's stone, in fact, it's boulders, uh, you're not able to see that is literally just a three-dimensional object here. You're dealing with ice flows. These are, you can see where they kind of move. This is a fresh snowpack over the top of it, and you can see kind of how everything moves. It comes to this point, kind of stops, and then continues on. That was uh, during uh, a, a period of time in 2006 when there was less uh, ice. Um, where is it located? Well, I'm going to include the GPS for it, so you can just go ahead and look it up, but it's latitude negative 66, longitude 100.5 approximately. In, that, in thereabouts, you will find it. There's some variation depending on what year you're looking at because, of course, the systems are not perfect. And this is using Google Earth. So there it is. Uh, if you look at the area that is pointed to by some of the news articles that were trying to explain it, it's over here. But what you also see is this thing about, oh, I don't know, a couple of miles south of it. Well, what is that? Well, looks like this. Looks like a bunch of them. What causes this? These rings <clears throat> are a reaction of the snow and ice building up and then subsiding around, uh, well, pieces of stone that are sticking up out of the ground. Nobody points to this area because it shows you that this is happening to a lot of areas. These aren't little roads or anything going over everything. These are, uh, this is the reaction of the snowpack and the ice flows, and more importantly, the, uh, the, the glacier kind of movement that pretty much dominates this part of uh, Antarctica. So basically, it starts off looking like this, if you could actually get those images. This is the one you probably saw in the video. It's not a building. It's a formation because that underneath there, you can see there, obviously, and you can see there, is a chunk of uh, a space that isn't filled up completely with ice and snow. It's probably got a small peak under there. Uh, there's something called a nun attack. That's, you know, I like making jokes about nuns, but it's, a, it's probably a peak underground, I mean, under the ice that's uh, sticking up. But I don't know. You'd have to actually visit there. Most people who watch YouTube videos don't actually go off of venturing that way. Um, other than that, um, south of there, there's a whole bunch of them. And you can look that up, and that'll be the second set of uh, coordinates. Um, as you can see, they, uh, they show up pretty easily at negative 66.3 by 100.5 versus 66, uh, let's see, what was that? Yeah, 66.3 by 100. Yeah, it's about the same range of distances. It's, it, they're fairly close to each other. They're almost running distance. So that's all there is for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And no, it's not some castle in Antarctica. Bye.